What's going on guys? So we are back at the same pond I was at two videos ago when I was uh, trying to target some catfish. Uh, didn't go so well. It took me a while to figure out how to actually properly target them in this pond, uh, I guess during this time of year. So we're going with the uh, three foot dock demon rod again. Uh, a couple little split shots just to keep the weight, uh, the bait on the bottom. Then a small size six hook. This is what worked uh, toward the end of the video last time. And for bait, we're just going to go with some night crawlers. Probably half of one should be good. Uh, last time was the middle of the day. It was like noon, one o'clock, 90 something degrees, so super hot. It is now uh, evening. We got about two hours till sunset, so a more traditional time uh, for catfish to be active. They like low light conditions, including nighttime. And we'll just put on a night crawler, throw it out there, and hope we can get a couple catfish here. All right, so we got our little piece of night crawler tied on there. It's uh, probably about a third of the full night crawler. All we're gonna do is just cast that thing out there. And now we wait. So since I was here two days ago, it has rained a whole ton. So I'm hoping the water's not too murky and we can still get some fish today. All right, this did not take long, probably about a minute or so. I'm already getting some bites. There we go. First fish of the day. Let's bring this guy in here. It doesn't feel too big. But it is a catfish. Little brown bullhead. Alrighty, first fish of the day. Super little brown bullhead. Uh, nice start though, we're only one minute in here, so way better than last time. Let's let this one go, and let's get another worm out there. All right, so that did not take long. Let's make another cast. And now we wait again. Alright, we're gonna do another one. This one might be a little bit bigger. We started out pulling a lot better. Maybe not though. Oh, what do we got here? He's pulling, definitely pulling better. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Another bullhead. Alrighty, bullhead number two. This one's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna toss that one back. And so far it's going pretty well. Been here about five, 10 minutes. Got two bullheads. That last one was a pretty decent size too. So let's get another worm out there and let's see what else we can get. All right, next cast. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty productive night so far. Haven't been here too long. Already got two bullheads. What I like to do when I'm dead sticking to see if I'm getting bites. Just hold my index finger over on the line that's gonna give you a lot more sensitivity than if you're just holding the rod. So right on the index finger, you'll be able to feel every little nibble. Here we go. Looks like another bullhead, fairly small. These guys don't pull too much. bullhead number three not too much size on these guys but this is I'd say an average one for not only this pond but for uh, really ponds in general bullheads don't get too big they're not like uh, channels blues or flatheads uh, biggest like a really really good size one's gonna be only about 14 maybe 15 16 inches so eight inches or whatever that guy was maybe seven it's a decent sized adult average adult Getting a bite. I don't think it's on. So when I, when I get a bite, I like to reel in just a little bit of slack so I know my line's tight. So if I get that second strike, I can set the hook a little bit easier. But now there's nothing on. Worm's still there. Except been messed with a little bit so let's fix that all right it's a little bit better I don't know if I'm really doing it the proper way or not but I just like to kind of roll it on there in a ball stick the hook through a whole bunch of times 
I haven't seemed to have too many problems that way. There we go. Fish on. I had a bite. Just feels like dead weight though. Is that a turtle? Or is that a fish? I think it's a turtle. Is it a turtle? Hope it's not a turtle, but it's not pulling like a fish. What is this? Yeah, it's a turtle. Oh, it's a good size one too. Definitely not what we wanted here. All right, back up, ready to go. Got the turtle off. Let's cast down and hope that doesn't happen again. still there so I've caught was it three four bullheads been getting a lot more hits just have not been able to hook up with them that's another one right right on the drop nothing so I'm thinking these fish might be pretty small yeah I mean look at this worm it was definitely messed with from that last cast got picked up. There we go. Fish on another bullhead. Let's bring him over this way. Another bullhead. Another brown one. All these have been about the same size. Let's dump that one down and like I was saying action has been pretty consistent not hooking up with a lot of them. I'm pretty sure a lot of them are just a little bit too small to catch but that was a decent sized one. Uh, sun's starting to set, so I'm going to try fishing a little bit closer uh, to the dock and too shore. I think that a lot of the larger fish are going to start moving in uh, in the shallows in the nighttime and the lower light conditions. But we're going to give that a shot. Hopefully we get into some more. I'd like to get a channel catfish too. I know they're in here. I have not seen one today. Uh, a guy showed me a video that he got here, uh, I think he said a week ago, and it was a really nice, probably 7-8 pounder. So hopefully we get one of those, but no promises. Go. Another bullhead looks like not much size on this one though. These guys don't really fight at all. They make one good pull when you first hook them and that's it. Another brown bullhead. All right. Another brown bullhead. Uh, about the same size we can get in them all day. So, I mean, not bad, but not that big either. So we got a little bit of time left. We'll try to get one of those bigger ones. Got a small one. Yeah. All right, got our smallest brown bullhead of the day. Now this is the size that I remember catching in here years ago. So try to get that bigger one still. All right, light's getting lower. We got about 45 minutes, maybe an hour left of sunlight. Let's try to get one of these larger channel cats or even one of these big bullheads. Because one of those big ones will really make my day. All right, so it's been really quiet here for the last half hour, 40 minutes or so. Still getting small nibbles every maybe five or 10 minutes, but it's been very quiet. A lot, a lot quieter than it was in that first hour or so. 
Uh, I've got about 15-20 minutes of daylight left, so I'd love to get one more of any size at this point. Um, if not, I think that's that's probably going to be it. So either you'll see me the fish in a minute, or I'll be back with a quick wrap up. And we're into what's going to be our last fish of the day. Ooh, this one might be a little bit bigger. He's just pulling more. Oh yeah, that's a decent sized one. Another bullhead. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. What is it, catfish? Uh, yeah, it's a bullhead. Oh, nice. Brown bullhead. Oh, I think I got one of those the other day. Yeah. There's a lot of them in here. Right, yeah. All right. What do you use? Uh, just night crawlers, worms. Oh, yeah. All right, last fish of the day. Nice little brown bullhead. This might also be the biggest one. So no monsters today, but this is a decent sized fish. All right, so that is gonna do it. Trying to record this before the sun goes completely down. Today went a whole lot better than uh, when I tried catfishing here two days ago at noon in 95 degree weather with the bobber, right? So check out that video. I gave all the explanation for why I used a bobber and whatnot. Uh, today, just a very simple small hook. I believe it's a size four, size six panfish hook. A couple split shots and small pieces of worms out on the bottom. Uh, produced a handful of bullheads. I believe they were all brown bullheads. I am definitely not the best at telling them apart. Uh, yellow bullheads, I know they have all white chin whiskers. Black bullheads, all black. Uh, brown bullheads, they have black, but I believe they have white at the base. I'm not positive on that. Uh, all of these look to be brown, and brown also have that kind of uh, molted camouflage body pattern kind of thing. So I believe they're all brown bullheads. I will double check on all those uh, when I get home, but I'm pretty happy with it. Catfish aren't a species of fish that I target too often. Uh, really, I just think it's a little bit of a boring type of way to fish. Um, you just got to kind of leave your bait there on the bottom waiting for something to swim by. I kind of like uh, using lures a little bit more often. Gives it um, gives me a little bit more fun and excitement than just sitting here. Uh, but as you probably know, catfish, they're not predators. They're more scavengers, especially the smaller ones. So not going to go after lures too much. Uh, either way, I hope you guys like this one and I will see you next time.